do they get up and leave? Why do they get up and leave? Tell you they like you didn't get up and leave. What's up guys, welcome to the episode of the NBA Recap, let's start back to another video, begin the episode, today we're going to talk about a lot of things that went on yesterday, most of the games that went on, but first I'm going to talk about some of the all-star th all um, things that are going to happen at the all-star game, you know, um, with the dunk contest, the three-point contest, and the skills challenge. Um, I feel like this is really unnecessary, but hey, you still gotta make some of that money for those HBCUs. I know they're gonna donate at least like $3 million to the HBCUs and different communities affected by COVID. So, um, that's a good thing for them. Hopefully they can get their, you know, hopefully they can, oh, I'm glad the NBA is doing this because I feel like if they're just doing it just for revenue for their company, even though that's what they're doing, um, that'd be a little bit, it's kind of sus, but at the end of the day, NBA is still business at the end of the day. So, um. You still gotta make, you still gotta cut that check at the end of the day. So at first, we're gonna talk about the dunk contest. Um, the people in the dunk contest are Alfred e. Simons. Um, he's an okay, he's an okay. You know, I know he's a pretty explosive guard. And he has some posters here and there. Um, he's just a role player off the Blazers who is, you know, he's pretty good. At the same time, it's just like not a really big name. I know dunk contest is supposed to feature a lot of big names, but it's just not the case this season. So um, I guess it's a good, I guess it's a good thing for them. Um, the next participant is Cassius Stanley from the Indiana Pacers. Man, I know he's a pretty good dunker. Um, he got some poses here and there. Um, like I said, he just he just dunks a lot. You know, for the Pacers, man, he's an okay player. Um, obviously, you know, it wouldn't be as great as you know even Aaron Gordon or Zach Levine, but at the end of the day, it's still you know it's still there. Uh, next guy we're talking about is Obi Toppin, the rookie. Um. For the New York Knicks, um, he's a good player. Uh, you know, dunks a lot. I mean, I, you know his story. Like he didn't, he used to never, he used to ever, never be able to dunk, and now like now he ever since he got the ability to dunk, he's been dunking everything, man. Like when usually when he usually when you should probably take a leg, he dunks at the end of the day. Um, that's just who he is. I think it's a good pick. I knew he's gonna be pretty explosive, man. I don't know if this is correctly the right thing because I know he just came off an injury, but hey, gotta have at least one name in the in the game. But at the same time, still good, still good pick. I mean, I, I would like some, I would like some bigger names. But at the end of the day, it's still fun guys to watch. I like watching the young players play. So hey, good, good thing. I'll definitely be watching. I'll definitely be tuning, and I'll probably give you a post game. And the next thing I'm gonna move on to is the three point contest. The three point contest is a little bit weird this season. Um, the three, the participants of three point contest are Devin Booker, Jalen Brown, Steph Curry, Zach Levine, Donovan Mitchell, and Jason Tatum. Now I don't know why the hell Jason Tatum is in the is in the three point contest and not Seth Curry for some reason. I don't know why, but hey, I guess because he shoots a pretty high percentage from the three point line. Who knows? Um, I know Zach Levine's a great shooter. Obviously, Steph Curry, um, Jalen Brown, he's a good three point shooter. I don't think he's right correctly right for this for um this type of game. But hey, um. Jalen Brown improved, improved game. Um, I don't know why Joe Harris is not in here. You know, the guy that's leading the league in three-point percentage is not in the three-point contest. I'm saying they're probably trying to preserve him because, you know, playoffs, championship, very key role. But, um, hey, it is what it is. Devin Booker, you know, obviously a great three-point shooter. It's, it's Devin Booker. I think it was, like, what, the last year champ, I think. Um, so, hey, this is the lineup for the three-point contest. Uh, for the skills challenge, you have Robert Covington, Luka Doncic, Chris Paul, Julius Randle, um, Demontis Sabonis, and Nikola Vucevic. Uh, this is a pretty a pretty interesting lineup um, for the uh, skills challenge. You know, very interesting. I'm still confused, like, where... I know the dunk contest is in the halftime. I know the three-point contest is in the pregame. So, I don't know what is going to happen with the all-star things, but... Hey, this is an interesting lineup. I don't know why Robert Covington is here, but I guess he just needs somebody to participate. Um, this is a very weirdly structured All Star game. You know, obviously it's being put, it's being made on the fly, so you know some tough stuff there. But hey, it's still gonna be interesting to watch. You know, it's still the All Star game at the end of the day. Still a lot of stars to be named. So yeah, um, this that's the All Star lineup for all the All Star stuff besides the All Star game. I know the, they're gonna still run the same format that they did last year for the All Star actual All Star game. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting thing for them. So without further ado, let's get into some of these games.
So, the first game we'll talk about the Grizzlies beat the Wizards, man. The John Morant had a really good game, 35 and 10. Um, this is a game where I thought I think I think also Dylan Brooks had a pretty good game. Um, I think he had 20 points or so. Um, the Wizards are are they coming back to Earth? Who knows? This is a pretty um. You know, Bradley Bill had 23 points, and Russell Westbrook had a nice game. Also had 23 points. But are they coming back to Earth, man? They I think they I think they're on a bit of a losing streak. I don't know, but hey, I think they're still a playoff team at the end of the day. I think they still will be able to make the playoffs. Uh, the next game we want to talk about is the Hawks beat the Heat, man. I forgot to say this in my last video, but the head coach, Floyd Pierce, got fired. Um, I think that was a kind of a weird firing because the team is not healthy. I think you have to give this team a chance when they're healthy. I feel like any team can be a nice team. Any coach could coach a really good, healthy team. And I feel like Lord Pierce being fired was kind of stupid, but hey, it happens. The NBA is still the NBA is still a business at the end of the day. I know they gave, I know they gave the job the interim head coach to Nate McMillan, um, the old Pacers coach, um, good coach I guess. I guess I mean he got them his win. I obviously know Jimmy Butler, so um, yeah, interesting game. I mean I don't know when Bogdanovich is going to come back. Maybe never. Who knows? I think he just started shooting around. So yeah, um. Hawks need this win at the end of the day. You know, they're on they're just they're just a disappointing team at the end of the day. But still, injury written. We don't even know when Chris Dunn is coming back. Rondo's in and out of the lineup. Gallinari hasn't really been that well, although he did did just have a really great game. Um John Khan's being wishy washy up and down. Trae Young doing Trae Young. Interesting team. Uh for the Heat, man, no Jimmy Butler, Bam at the bio. I mean, the whole team the team as a whole really didn't have a great game. Um it was a really low scoring game, so you could tell, like, obviously. The guys didn't really put in that much like points, and uh, that's that's basically the end of it. Uh, so just beat the Clippers, man. There was no Kawhi this game. Uh, PG PG had a really good game. I think he had like thirty plus points. Um, struggle struggle a little bit from three, but hey, it happens. That's a good bounce back game for him at the end of the day. You know, people were trashing him on Twitter. You know how Twitter is. Um. The Celtics man, Kemba Walker had a really nice game. I don't know why Celtics fans don't really like Kemba Walker. For some reason, I think he's a pretty good point guard in my opinion. Um, yeah, uh, didn't have Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown didn't even have the greatest games ever. They still contrib contributed, and yeah, this is a good, this is a good one for the Celtics man. The Clippers obviously, you know, it was a pretty, pretty interesting game because they were pretty close and there was a, without Kawhi Leonard. So yeah, dangerous team. You all should be looking at the Clippers man. Next game we'll talk about is the Spurs blow out the Knicks, man. DeMar DeRozan didn't even have the greatest game, but he did have 10 and 11. Um, I think they're... The Spurs are such a complete team. I feel like their bench unit could be, like, their starters, which is very interesting. Such a complete team. I think they're, what, fifth in the West? You know, a really underrated team. They definitely probably will be in the playoffs this year. Um, Will they win the first round? Probably not. But at the end of the day, it's still any man's league at the end of the day, man. You got the Sun, you got the Suns, which we'll talk about later, doing great things. You know, it's a good team good team win. Knicks, man, Knicks just Knicks just didn't play their game. I mean, Emmanuel Quick I know Emmanuel Quickly, the rookie, had a really nice game. But as far as like, the team as a whole, not a great game. Julius Randle had an okay game, but it wasn't like his all star type his, his usual stat line, which is like twenty which is like twenty two, ten plus ten plus rebounds and Five plus assists, which is his usual game, but hey, things happen. Uh, everyone has a bad game every now and then, so this is just, it's just, it's just going to be a come up for them. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is the Nuggets blow out the Bucks. Um, Nikola Jokic had a had a nice triple double, man. This is his fiftieth career triple double, the fastest guy, one of the fastest guys to ever do it. Um, I like the Jamal Murray consistency, man. Twenty four points. Um, I think he's averaging 21 on the year. So good job, Jamal Murray, for being consistent. Finally, um, <laughs> um, I know for the Bucks, this is uh they're trying to ease Drew Holiday back in the lineup. I know he just came back from COVID protocols. The last game against the Clippers, he didn't have a particularly great game. I think believe this game he came off the bench. So they're trying to ease him back into the starting uh, starting role, which he obviously should be and obviously will be when it all said it done. Um. I think he'll play like 18 minutes or so. So, yeah, just trying to ease him back the lineup. Giannis didn't really have the greatest game ever. I know Chris Milton had 20-piece, 
But Giannis didn't have the best game ever. I believe he had 27, 8, and 3. I mean, it was still a great game for him, but at the end of the day, it's not really his type of numbers. So, um, yeah, that is just trying to work through things. I definitely think the Bucks will definitely be a team to beat in the East. But at the end of the day, it's still any man's league, like I just said. Um, next thing we'll talk about is the Suns beat the Lakers, man. Suns beat the Lakers, man. I want to first talk about the Devin Booker rejection, but I feel like that was the most bullshit rejection ever. I feel like the refs are just so soft, man. NBA really needs to talk to the refs about what is a, what is a technical and what is not. I think it's just really dumb. Uh, Devin Booker should not have been being hit, cut out of a prime time, a nationally televised game, and you decide to take Devin Booker out. It's just stupid to me. Um, I mean, this is a game where Chris, Chris Paul didn't really have the best game ever, even though he did have 10 assists. Um... I think it was just weird. Darius Sargent, I know, had a good game. He was just, I mean, Darius Sargent really had a pretty basic game. I think he was just exposing the fact that there was no big men in the lineup. So, um, yeah, pretty good game from them. Um, they just took, I mean, the injuries just, like, suck for the Lakers, man. I feel, like I said, like, this is a team that I feel like when they're healthy, I feel like they are the team to beat when they're healthy. Um, Obviously, there's a, this is a game where Kyle Kuzma did not play. I don't know why Kyle Kuzma. Somebody heel bruise. Um, Marcus Gasol is on, now in health taste protocol, so we're about, he'll be out at least a week. But lucky for them, it's the All Star game. It's the All Star break, so obviously it's not going to affect them that off that much. Um, LeBron James had a pretty good, he had a really good game. He had 38 points, six and five. You know, um, pretty. Pretty outstanding game for him. Turns out LeBron James actually is second in – is he actually first in defensive win shares? Hmm, interesting. Should he, be in the, should he be a defensive team this year? First team all defense? Second team all defense? Who knows? Um, I know the – like I said, for the Lakers, man, can't really judge this team because they're so injury-written. I, I'd be, it'd be way different if they were actually fully powered, but obviously they're not. You know, everything injury – and everything with the injuries is really costing them. Um, obviously, when you're missing another starter in Marcus Saul, who I don't think is really that well productively, but it's still going to give you those three, still going to make those passes, and it's still, ob still at the end of the day, a big man. Um, I know Taylor Horn Tucker had a pretty good game, 16 points. Um, I think the new dude that they signed, um, Damian Jones, had a pretty good game. Um, well, as far as like defensively. Uh, I don't know why he wasn't put in, in put in at the end. I know they're trying to ease him into lineups, even though he is on a ten day contract. But they're still trying to ease him into lineups. I think he had I think he had pretty good pretty good minutes on DeAndre Ayton. I don't think DeAndre Ayton even played the second half. Um, yeah, as far as the Suns, man, Mikel Bridges doing work. Um, Jay Carter doing work, man. They're still a great team all around. Um, this is a game where Chris Chris Paul was being locked up by Dennis Schroeder. I'll give you that. Chris Paul did not have the best game ever, but he did have ten assists. But and he made some clutch. He made a clutch three at the end. Um, this is the game where after I mean, like I said, like me personally, after Devin Booker got ejected, bro, I didn't really watch the the bulk of the game. But I was like, no, I still gotta watch this game because still LeBron James versus Chris Paul. So yeah, still gotta watch. Um, yeah. Good slated games. I mean, I was kind of excited for these games, but also at the end of the day, I was kind of, you know, disappointed because obviously some of these games were stinkers. But hey, still gonna make a video about them at the end of the day, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's the end of this video. Um, make sure you pick, tell me if you agree with the all star, you know, other skills, dunks, and three point contest list. If you agree with that, let me know in the comment section. And as always, we out. Peace.